I think he should absolutely go. And I think the FBI will get him eventually. I don't know how they get rid of him for four years. Um, he's, he's there, isn't he? Um, I guess if they keep investigating and what they're investigating comes to a head and it's all right, then I think it's going to be very difficult for him to stay in position. Parts of the world think that he's very good in terms of from what he's given them, in terms of World Cups to South Africa. Um, but in fairness, um, I think the, uh, the criminal proceedings will catch up with him. I think he needs to go. But I don't know what the um, what the choice would be to replace him because they've just had a democratic election and he won hands down. We've got to get rid of him no matter what, but I don't think it's going to happen full stop. Well, preferably he should go. You know, somebody new needs to come in, fresh ideas. You know, and especially with what's come out with all, you know, with this whole corruption. You know, we, we need to know what's going on. It needs to be, you know, transparent, and it clearly isn't. As more and more comes out in the investigations in America and in Switzerland, I think he'll get dragged into the dirt, and I think he'll become untenable. It is a problem. However, obviously, with the investigations that are ongoing at the minute, um, only time will. Time will tell whether or not he'll still be in position, give it 12, 24, 36 months, right? Even if he wasn't crook, he's been there how long? 16, 17 years? It's, it's just too long for one, one man to be in that control for that length of time. He should go, definitely. Well, I think pressure is on him, but he has a very negative at attitude of uh, Europe and European journalists. Um, but he said he wasn't going to stand again last time, and he has stood again, hasn't he? So um, he says he's not going to stand again in 2020. I'm guessing in 2019 we're going to hear Seth Blatter's going to keep on going until he's in the grave, I think. I'm not sure about that. I mean, from a football point of view, I don't think they've done an awful lot wrong. From a political point of view, possibly. Um, it would be good if it went to Russia. I think um, Qatar's always been a bit of a dubious choice for me, time of year and all that kind of stuff. But um, other than that, no, I, I'd, I'd give it. It's a different nation to have a run out with the World Cup. So I, I'd keep it, I think. I think it'd be very difficult to put it somewhere else now. I'm not quite sure boycotting it is the answer. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, from a from a fan's perspective. How much um, though? From a political perspective, yes, it probably is the right thing to do, but from a fan's perspective, no. I think it would be a shame for the ordinary soccer fan because they would definitely miss out. And a lot of these footballers, they gear their whole career to playing for their country in the World Cup and the Europeans. So I think that would be a crying shame. The whole of UEFA would need to you know, band together and do that. I don't think there's uh, enough who would confidently do that. Um, but we, the general football fan would miss out, and we, you know we should we shouldn't you know miss out because of you know some idiot at the top. I think you get rid of him by uh, UEFA boycotting the World Cup, and then trying to get America to do the same, and a few other teams like that, uh, a few other, uh, countries like that. And I think if you do that, you boycott the World Cup. FIFA's over. It's finished.